forecast with the angelic ascension. Hope all is well. This may be a reading that may resonate with you. You have relevant Virgo placements. You're dealing with a Virgo. You might find some information in this reading, Virgo Nation, that may resonate with you. Uh, let's go ahead and shuffle. Um, as I shuffle, Virgo Nation, keep in the back of your mind that this reading is general, which means that there might be some information in this reading that may resonate and guaranteed there'll be some things that don't. Don't get distracted by details that don't apply to your situation. And please, random side note, some of you could be dealing with somebody that is tatted up, pierced, somebody could have piercings. Somebody is traveling or they're avoiding being at home for whatever reason. Maybe somebody travels for a living. Maybe somebody is avoiding being at home. Maybe you are estranged from someone. It looks like somebody is in love. Still in love with their ex. Possibly clinging to this person. Maybe watching them on social media watching their whereabouts, obsessing over someone or over the situation. Somebody could be reaching out to you and this might be related or unrelated. No, it's related. Whoever this obsessed person is, if it's not an ex, this feels like this is somebody maybe blowing your phone up. Calling it looks like somebody is blowing you up, calling you from fake phone numbers, fake accounts. And as soon as I say that, this ha might have something to do with a Leo. Somebody is a fire sign. And whoever, or, or an air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody has heart problems. Random side note. I don't know what this is, but you got an obsessed person contacting you from fake phone numbers, fake accounts. And what it feels like is that somebody might be kind of like popping up in your life. So this person, Leo comes up again. This person that suffers from issues of self-sabotage. So maybe you, deception. All right. So what I'm feeling is that for some of you, there could have been some cheating in this situation, some lying. There might be some guilt that this person is feeling about the situation. The trust has evaporated between the two of you and somebody is reflecting on their poor decision making. And maybe somebody would like to talk about how they feel or maybe this is a kid. Maybe you wish that your child would talk more about their feelings. Somebody is definitely this week lying and keeping secrets. And for some of you, there's something that you don't see that is going on. And you might be putting too many expectations. You might be putting your eggs, all your eggs in one basket with a particular situation with a particular person, or perhaps they are, or maybe they did in the past. And maybe you might, this could be you feeling like that coming to realize that you're putting too many expectations on a relationship singles especially if this is you moving too fast you're meeting somebody and maybe you're waiting for you're hoping that someone make will make a commitment or you're rushing into a situation too quickly for some of you you might find yourself in a situation where you're putting like i said way too many expectations on this because for some of you i feel like someone is not ready for a long-term relationship even though they're acting like they are one of the major issues here is that i feel like you guys might have breakdowns in communication there's somebody that feels like they cannot have a rational mature conversation in this situation Maybe you guys are growing apart. Maybe you're feeling that you guys have little in common. And maybe somebody else is starting to look a little bit better. Another option here. Because it looks like somebody is distracted by somebody else. While somebody just seems to just keep trying while their partner is drifting away. 
This is somebody that calls out your flaws. Maybe you feel like they don't see theirs or they don't acknowledge theirs. So, yeah, I see that somebody is having an issue with letting go with this obsession and this clinging type of situation. Somebody is intentionally putting themselves through torture, trying to hold on to this. So whatever this is, some of you, your partner's lo losing attraction. There's some temptation, like I said, and they're going in that direction. Now, for some of you, this is an old situation. This already played out. You guys have already gone your separate ways. And if that is your situation, I don't know. Somebody's really looking at themselves like damaged goods, like Previous relationships may have really damaged their perspective on long-term situations or this is you or them. So one of you, I feel, is really taking the time to heal. Maybe you're waiting for the love that you deserve. Maybe you're a little bit older, a little bit wiser. Maybe some of you are mature in age. It looks like you're very stylish. You're very determined. This could be how people see you. Somebody that's very articulate. You might be somebody that's that really flourishes as the center of attention. So right now, I feel like you might be taking some time to go within and listen to what your inner voice is really trying to tell you about a situation here. About whether or not to let your guard down with somebody that you might feel is a womanizer. And somebody self-medicates. And this is what I feel like somebody is using to kind of like numb themselves from the emotional pain of missing you. But see, they're telling their story to other people, <laughs> Virgo Nation, and I promise you I wanted to say Gemini. So maybe you're dealing with a fellow Mercurian, okay? Gemini. Because I do see this King of Swords. Who I feel is a Gemini or a Libra, but could be an Aquarius as well. Um, what am I trying to say about this situation? Somebody's addicted. They're medicating themselves. Some of you, you're putting yourselves through torture because you're you're constantly looking at this situation, looking at this person, stalking them, borderline stalking them. I don't know. So you're putting yourselves torture, waiting and, and trying in a situation that's not moving forward. Let's see what happens next. Okay. After some disappointment, it feels like someone that you have broken up with becomes curious about you. That might be what leads them to go check you out and see what's going on with you. Especially if you have like an online presence, this person is checking you out there. They might be planning a trip to come and see you. But something is kind of like halting that progress. It's like somebody fears that you're going to turn them away, that they're, they're going to be disappointed. If they do, maybe reach out to you. Somebody is really under the impression, or this is you maybe painting the pictures that maybe a friendship cannot possibly even exist between the two of you. And it feels like somebody is missing that. That friendship bond that maybe you guys had, it looks like they're in love with you, but the friendship is what's really missing here. They're not sure if there's a way to change the perspective, the perception that you have of them. And this person recognizes you as somebody that's very intuitive. On the contrary, though, this is someone, you got the hermit card, so this could be you, Virgo. Maybe you're not listening to your intuition. It could be you that's not getting the sleep that you need. And it could be you that might be, or whomever this is, okay? That could be um, maybe a bit indecisive, a bit wishy-washy about decision making here and about whether or not a commitment could really take place. That's something that you're ready for. This week, your energy could be a bit off. It could be a bit down. And um, it looks like you're not wanting to stay in a situation where you're not talking to anyone you feel like you need some type of clarity and maybe you're looking for harmony to take place between you and someone so this is what i mean by arrival someone might be arriving at your doorstep somebody might be coming to talk to you that leap of faith they might actually take that leap of faith to maybe see if this could play out 
because like I said, they've been planning something but not following through on something. And some of you, this is not related to a relationship situation. This could be maybe something that you have had planned. Maybe you have planned on traveling independent from this person or situation. Wedding. That's interesting. Some of you could be going to a wedding or some type of celebration, an engagement party. Maybe you were married or engaged to this person. Maybe they got into another commitment behind your back. This is Virgo. There's a trip here. I promise you that you have been planning, but maybe you haven't been able to, you know, make that happen. Because it looks like you want to go somewhere. It looks like you're looking for some type of change of scenery. You want to clear your mind. And I think you might be going on a short vacation. You might feel like that might really be helpful. But it feels like for whatever reason, that trip has been stalled. If you decided to, it feels like this is you that's stalling this trip. Maybe you're waiting for money. Maybe you're waiting for a vacation. Vacation time from your job. Yep, You're really thinking back. Maybe toward about your kids. And maybe you just have this overflow of love towards someone. Somebody's really feeling like a change needs to take place within themselves. Or they're really looking at themselves. And it could be somebody's passing that has you really reflecting on your life this way. This could be a fear that maybe the somebody might pass away something's giving somebody a reality check here it's like you've lost someone or you're afraid that you might some of you so random you could be waiting for um a letter um a package or some type of information that might be coming your way you're waiting for something it feels like it plays out this week knock on the door a package a letter some type of information that you've been waiting for it comes through this week it could have something to do with money it might have something to do with finances you, you might be trying to get your finances in order because it looks like you're very career driven but this week okay finances could be a barrier for you virgo because it looks like your resources, you might have a little bit less in your pocket than maybe you anticipated. So this is definitely a week where you really want to stick to a budget. It, you know, if at all possible, you, you don't want to go on any type of splurges this week. In fact, if you have any type of like um, court situation that you need to take care of, you might really want to stay on top of that. Because there could be a situation here where there could be some type of disciplinary action. And that could be what might be coming through the mail. This could be a court summons. This week you might be kind of like disappointed in somebody. This could be a friend or a lover. And I promise you, if this is a works in a work situation, it really does feel like somebody is trying to go behind your back to work against you. So, so back to this financial situation. Yeah, you want to handle your money in the best way, the strategic, the most strategic way possible. Because it looks like you might be taking out some personal loans. Or this is something that you're concerned about. Maybe repaying some debts that might kind of like pop up. But whatever this is, even though at work I feel like you have someone working against you. I feel like there's some type of work achievement that you're working toward. And I feel like you're going to reach that. That success that you're looking for. I think you have had a difficult situation here that you've been dealing with. And I think that something is about to come to an end with a difficult situation. For some of you, that work success is pending because for some of you, I don't know if this is an isolated incident, but maybe you're not sure of your place in this world. Maybe you feel like you need some encouragement, maybe having to do with something here. You might find yourself crying out of nowhere, feeling emotional over... I don't know what this is, if this is over a person or this is over 
a situation. I did say somebody might disappoint you this week. That could be why you're crying. A friend might kind of let you down. Or like I said, a lover might kind of let you down. You're going to some type of party or celebration. You might be invited to that. And that might cheer you up, it feels like. It looks like that might be the, the change that you need. Oh, wow. Who is this trying to work against you? I promise you, Virgo Nation, you have an enemy that's trying to work against you. Or Virgo, this is you doing this to someone. Somebody's trying to get you fired. Somebody could have been trying to get you fired since last year. Okay, so what is this? Lessons and blessings. Okay. I think you're on the right path with something. I think there's a blessing coming in for you. After learning something, something, it looks like you may have had to go through, like, um, something has thrown you a curveball. You've had some type of difficult lesson. Yeah, you've had some type of hard misfortune. I think you had to learn something the hard way. I'll put it that way. And I think you're starting to recognize the blessing in something here. I think this is you shifting your perspective on something. Okay, Virgos, like, bear with me. I'm really trying to see exactly what's going on. See if I can pull in some details. You, I promise you, some of you, there's somebody that you're dealing with that is in jail. Yeah, see. I think this is a raise, a promotion, some type of work success, like I said. And whomever this is that's trying to work against you or has, this feels like this has been going on for the longest time. It feels like somebody's going to reap what they've sown. This could be an elder of yours. Yeah, somebody's going to reap what they've sown in this situation. Virgo, I don't know if this is like, you have some type of anxiety, you might be having panic attacks, or this is, you're scared about something. What are you scared about? Oh, you're scared of a long-term commitment. So it's, I think you're dealing with a commitment, foe. Oh, so you might be scared that somebody's going to divorce you. Because it looks like you're really going through it with somebody. Like some of you really have irreconcilable differences with someone. Some of you are actively going through a divorce or you are talking to someone about a divorce. About a, a, you're getting some type of legal counsel about a, a separation here. You could be getting legally separated. Looks like you want to reconcile with someone. Somebody got caught up in a karmic relationship. This is this was like this is a side situation. And it's affecting your love life. And somebody around you, their health could be an issue. This could be yours. This could be your mental health. Oh, okay. You're waiting for some type of message. I promise you. Confirmation here. Somebody's trying to work against you. You have an enemy. This is some type of adversity that you have been withstanding. And I promise you, this is again, confirmation. Somebody's going to reap what they have sown. There's some type of disciplinary action. If this is not through the court system, through the legal system, then this is through karmic justice here. For somebody putting you through a lot of ang uh, anxiety, but I meant to say adversity, somebody does not want to let something end. They don't wanna let it rest. They don't reap what they've sown. It's like somebody's clinging to somebody out of like fear. Like they don't want to lose someone. They feel incomplete without. So this is a very codependent type of situation for some of you. Yeah, you're making a difficult decision. So I think you do. You need some time to reflect on what your choice is going to be. 
because I promise you somebody really feels as though they have lost you and I think somebody wants to see if the confidence in this relationship could really be restored but I think that somebody might feel that somebody is letting go And I think somebody is realizing that it's time to move on. And I think somebody is severely heartbroken because of that. And this is why somebody might be getting back into an addiction or could be going through some type of drug relapse. I don't know, Virgo Nation. It looks like somebody's really going through it. Um, there is singles. It feels like there is a commitment on the table. There's, there's an offer. This could be, um, like I said, a, it's having something to do with work. There could, there could be an offer this way. Why is somebody trying to get revenge on you? Or this is some type of retaliation that somebody feels like they, like somebody's coming in with this. I need to get you back. Like some type of revenge type of situation. Somebody wants to punish somebody for hurting them. That's weird. You're, you're, some of you are ring shopping. And I'm like, why? Did I say somebody drinks a lot of whiskey? This feels like this isn't a wine drinker. This is a whiskey drinker. Maybe that's their drink of choice. Somebody likes to run the streets and maybe get involved in illegal activities. I promise you, I don't know who this reading is for. Is it for Virgo? Somebody's crawling back. <sighs> back to this court situation. There's some type of settlement. You might be able to come to some type of agreement with the court system. Or this is someone, maybe for the sake of a child, you, you come up with some type of way to compromise. Maybe you have some type of, you're connected financially, you have a financial link to this person. And what I mean by that is maybe you, you're on the deed to the house, you're connected to them in some type of way. But I feel like this is like emotionally really. That's where your emotional connected, connection is. So your emotions might be kind of like all over the place this week, Virgo Nation, for this reason. You might be having some pain in your knees or your back. And I promise you, somebody is like a veteran or somebody's in the service or you grew up in maybe a military background. Somebody's going to be clearing the air with you. Oh, you might need to put some money into a car this week, Virgo Nation. And I promise you, you might be going to see somebody in the hospital. You're making up with somebody. So if you and your partner have been going through a difficult time, for some of you, this has something to do with an Aquarius because this, I saw Aqua right beneath that. Yeah, I think you might be going to visit family. You might be making peace with a situation here. I, I'm confused. It's like, did somebody pass away? It's like, are you going to a funeral? Like, I'm confused what's going on in the background because I'm not getting context about it. It's just showing me somebody passed. Or you're worried that somebody's going to pass. Maybe you had like a near-death experience. I don't know. What's going on with Virgo? Who's Virgo? This could be somebody. Yes, this is like a twin flame. Devotion. 
Maybe you are connecting with somebody that passed away. Somebody that's from the afterlife. Maybe there's some type of connection, some type of communication that you're getting from someone that is from the afterlife. So it'd be a very subtle message from this person, but it feels like someone from the afterlife is trying to reach out to you. For some of you, this could be a child. Some of you, this is what this reconciliation is with, like you're in separation from your children. Somebody might be connecting with you, writing you a letter, dropping you an email. There's some type of a message left for someone or you're trying to reach out to someone. Some type of paperwork that I feel like you might need to take care of, possibly for a business. So you got somebody that's trying to steal from you. Let's see what this is about. Virgo Nation. Stealing your work. So maybe you work in the YouTube tarot community because that, that definitely goes down here where people steal people's work. Or this is somebody stealing from you at work, stealing your stuff. But this feels like this is talent. Somebody's trying to like capitalize on the work that you put out there. And trying to take credit for it. Somebody does not want to face the truth. I promise you, here comes Archangel Michael to come and take care of something. To come and reveal something here. Because I promise you, somebody is receiving their karma. I got something very similar for Leo. So some of you, and you got a Leo here. So this could be a Virgo Leo cusp. Yeah, see, this is somebody stealing your stuff. So that's what this thief is doing. Somebody's trying to take your stuff. So, and maybe this is why it looks like somebody, this is like stolen identity, credit card theft. It feels like it's this type of thing. So when you're online, it feels like it's going to be necessary. Look, Virgo, really? Be vigilant about the information that is out there or information that other people have access to. Because it looks like somebody's really trying to start you up online. Yeah, this feels like this is identity theft. I think there might be an unexpected bill that comes in this week to Virgo. They might kind of throw you off. Looks like there's, and that kind of might set you back a little bit. Maybe having to do with like a financial goal that you're trying to reach. Goodness, did, I, I promise you, did you, it looks like you're devastated over something. Or this is somebody around you that's devastated because they're hurt. What are you devastated about? Because, um, okay, what is going on with Virgo? Maybe some of you are devastated because it's time to move on. You're having closure issues. Maybe you, you're devastated because something is ending. You're separated and you're unsure of what the future holds between you and someone. See, that's what I mean. So you got this thief and you uh, you got stuff. Somebody's stealing your stuff. Somebody around you is greedy. Oh, this might have something to do with a health situation. You're deeply hurt because maybe you might feel like somebody is not getting better health wise. So if no one passed away, because for some of you, this is something that you're mourning. You're in separation from someone because of someone's passing. And maybe you're feeling lost. Maybe you're grieving. You're mourning the loss of someone.
you might okay so this whole thing with this letter and this communication might have something to do with the doctor um there's something here about somebody's it's like a health prognosis holy spirit help me what's going on with health Yes, this has something to do with the fact that somebody is not getting better. There's not an improvement to someone's health situation. Maybe you're not sure how to help someone. Okay, this feels like this is a situation related to feminine health. This might have something to do with a, a figure. A feminine figure around you. Yep, Chiron heel. I think this is, you're going through some type of healing process, but I think this also has something to do with a health situation. You're wanting for someone to heal. You're wanting for someone to get better health wise. And this feels like this is all you're thinking about. This is something that's just heavily on your mind. And for some of you, you might be enter entering the last trimester of your pregnancy. So maybe this entails a lot of visits to the doctor. So maybe this is something that's really keeping you busy. Doctor's appointments. Yeah, so you are entering the end of your, your pregnancy. Yeah, you're waiting for a baby's arrival. And it feels like it's, it's about to happen if it hasn't happened already. Um, some of you have a Leo. You're, you're giving birth to a Leo child. Or you already have a Leo child. All right, so let's see. Your reading is kind of sporadic, kind of random this week. Virgo Nation, and I promise you, it, it's never a surprise for me to see Leo come up in your readings. Like I said, either you're on the cusp or you have Virgo placements, you have Leo placements, or you're dealing with somebody with predominant Leo in their chart. Discomfort. So that might be something that brings you to the doctor. It's some type of discomfort. This is either happening to you or this is happening to someone around you. And I promise you, I'm trying to see what's going on with a health situation. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's going on with Virgo? There's some issues here with home, so maybe you're not... Um, you're looking for a home. Maybe you're looking for a steady place to stay. Or maybe somebody is stealing from your home. I promise you, if this is not you giving birth, Virgo, then there's somebody around you that's giving birth pretty soon. Or they already have. Or you have a little toddler that you're taking care of. You're nearing burnout. So maybe this has something to do with your health. You got to take some time. It feels like you're burnt out because you're trying to maybe solve a financial issue or like I said you have some type of financial goal you're having issues with your digestion your, your bowels it's like you're a slave to your job or something Virgo and you got to be able to get the rest that you need and and I'm telling you some of you you need to eat Eat more, like more leafy greens, more fresh fresh vegetables. Because it looks like the way that you're eating, you're eating a lot of junk or a lot of processed food. Maybe having a lot of heartburn, indigestion. You might even be concerned about growing older. Maybe you want to look more youthful. This could be you thinking about going under the knife. But let's see what's really going on with Virgo with a health situation. You are a smoker or a heavy drinker. This feels like this is starting to affect your vital organs. 
Like I said, somebody around you has heart problems. Random. Somebody is addicted to like pills, painkillers. Might be time for a physical Virgo. It looks like you might need to get your labs checked, especially like your, I want to say cardiac markers. Somebody having, somebody has a heart conditions, heart attack is kind of like what I'm feeling. And I promise you, somebody is going through some type of surgery. Maybe somebody's having a C-section. I don't know. This could be like an emergency C-section type of thing. I promise you, I'm trying to figure out what's going on this week, Virgo. It looks like your, card, your cards are kind of like jumbled. Your, your weight is fluctuating. It looks like, Virgo, you or somebody around you is really going through it. And you might have some dizzy spells. And I promise you, this is like, did I say spells? Did I mention that somebody's doing magic on you? I did say somebody's working against you. Stealing your creativity. There are some distractions in the background is what I'm trying to say. So this whole thing about burnout. Your guides are telling you it might be really necessary this week to balance your home, your career life. Because it feels like things at home or other things might be kind of pulling at you. You might be kind of like moving kind of fast. It feels like at a very fast pace. You're trying to get some errands run. You got a lot of different things that I feel like you're trying to handle. Mm -hmm. A lot of responsibilities that are on your plate. So this week balance is going to be absolutely needed. Some of you have a pet. that maybe needs to take get taken care of conditioning yeah you might be very conditioned to work long hours or work to the point of burnout it's like you're really connecting with your guides you're setting up an altar you're really speaking to your guides about something and i promise you you somebody must have passed away or you are connecting with someone that passed away. Or you're afraid that someone is going to pass away. Or like I said, this is somebody from the afterlife connecting with you. Maybe trying to get you to change your perspective on a health situation. Or the way that, you, that somebody is living their life. Holy Spirit, what is the advice? I don't know, Virgo. I don't quite get your reading this week. I don't think I quite get what's going on. Restore yourself with alone time. Take a break from the busy world. Replenish yourself with stillness. Meditate, stretch, nap, garden. Do whatever quiet activity your spirit, your spirit yearns for. Yeah, you're going to need some alone time. It may be absolutely necessary to spend some time by yourself. To clear your head, really. It was like you got a lot of things going on in your mind. And you may really need some time to really maximize the time you need to center yourself take a few deep breaths to regain your center now you can approach life from a more mindful place yeah because it feels like you're moving a mile a minute there may be a, a necessity for you to really get your bearings back so that you can think clearly and slowing down feels like it's going to be something that's really useful for you this week as well to avoid burnout, do not do too much too fast. Going slower lets you appreciate the miracle of the moment and the richness of your life. It feels like you're kind of like speeding through life right now. Um, maybe skipping over certain details. Um, misplacing things. Right? Because it feels like things are off center, off balance this week. So your guides are telling you, Virgo Nation, it may make a world of difference this week to slow down. And while you're doing that, your guides are saying set clear boundaries. Empower yourself by setting limits, such as saying no to a request or socializing less. This kind of self-care creates more respectful, healthy relationships. So yeah, you might be tempted to maybe say yes when you really need to say no when you really need some time to yourself balance is going to be key this week for the nation 
With that, Virgos, this concludes your weekly check-in with Angelic Ascensions. If you found that it was helpful, Virgo Nation, give it a thumbs up. Consider subbing to my channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to book a personal reading, the way to do so would be to head over to my website, which happens to be angelicascensionstarot.com. Thank you, Virgo Nation, for tuning in today. I will see y'all.